Churchill can be the English ambassador to Entente in Russia when he warns the Iron Curtain of syndicalism. Najd and Jabal, that's it, yeah. Jamar, that's what it's called. Is playing as Iran viable? Yes. And Iran has actually got a focus tree now. And quite an impressive one, too, from everything I've seen. Iran is definitely one that I want to approach at some point. They look interesting. In fact, just the, the whole of the Middle East in general just looks a lot more interesting. So Iran, Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Muscat, Egypt, Abyssinia, Somalia, Tripolitania, the Ottomans, Iran. They've all been, like, updated. Nash has all the advantages of a Jabal, so Saudi is more common than Rashidi Arabia. Yeah. How much of the major changes are working the Tiger influence the major powers? Too early to say. Military factories. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, support, maybe? I'm not going to be producing very many of them, though. No, it's not really worth it. I think we're just going to make more guns. We're going to put more boots on the ground. Foul Bulgarian National Bank. That was quick. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and maintain protectionism. It is important that we prioritize the needs of the Bulgarian people rather than allowing for the free flow of goods, which could see the outsourcing of jobs. We must turn our gaze towards Middle Europa, the biggest economic bloc in Europe, and enact tariffs against them in order to protect the rights of the Bulgarian worker. Pissing off our former ally even more. Sounds like a great plan. You already have research shovels researched. Yeah, but I need support equipment to actually equip them. Like, one of the worst things you can do is equip uh, support companies that don't have any equipment. Because it will reduce the strength of your military far more than the impact of that support company actually is. Elections in Italy. The elections of the Republic of Italy have ended with the election of Prime Minister Alcide de Gasperi, head of the Partizio Popolare Italiano. The new Prime Minister has assured people, both foreign and domestic, that he will be able to resolve the Black Monday crisis. It seems that the former Prime Minister Ivano Bodomi Bonomi's attempt to consolidate power in the face of Black Monday has failed. Although, you're not necessarily wrong that having engineers would help, because they would make us a lot more defensive, so we can entrench better. Although at some point, there will just be a lot of moving around. Yeah, alright, we'll see, we'll see. It's, it's one factory. We're down to just three more infrastructure required. And then we can get the research slot, then we can work on those, end Black Monday, and then back to the military. We can work our way down to mountain infantry, and then hopefully we'll have that and have our armies trained with mountain infantry divisions included um, before anything really goes horribly wrong. Make infrastructure to get more resources. That's disabled, apparently. Is that still disabled? Uh, I would assume so, actually, because I don't think they've rejigged where the resources are. In Kaiserreich, which country has the best generals? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Like, since the update, where, well, since this update with Waking the Tiger, where the generals actually have traits and stuff, I have no idea. Germany, I assume? Maybe? But then the German military has also kind of been, um... What's the word? Ignored. No, wrong word. Maintain protectionism. They've they've done what France did. They became word. I hate it when I just the words on like the tip of your tongue and you're like, I can't remember. It's still disabled until they rebalance resources. Yeah, I thought so. Decadent it's not really decadent. Alright, we're gonna get the university. Founded on the 1st of October, 1888, the University of Sofia is Bulgaria's oldest higher education institution. By pouring government funds into the development and expansion of the services offered by the university, we can allow for the education of our citizenry. It's not stagnant. It's not old guard. All right, Germany, I know you actually use the word. I'm fairly sure you do anyway. 
Ah, uh, it's been a long time since I played Germany. Where are your military things? No, it's it's one of your focuses or our spirits. I thought. Complacent. That's the word. It wasn't actually there. They've become a complacent, which I would assume also means their military uh, command training. This is not the Prussia of old. I was on the forums and read that the guy who did the Ottomans left the team and no one picked it back up. That's unfortunate. And yeah, Bolin Stalin, complacent. You and Fanro, you both said it. <laughs> Bulgaria can't be that bad. They're difficult. I played as them twice before now. The first time went really well, but I remember them having better uh, companies and things. I remember them having really good tanks, and they just don't anymore. And also, I'd kind of like to see a couple more national focuses that actually give them the bonuses, which should be accorded to the, the Prussia of the Balkans. It seems a little bit lackluster, personal opinion. Uh, 31st of December. I'm going to wait a day. Right, now I can get the 1937 tax, which includes construction. Boom. The Tsar's open secret. An open secret about the Tsar, Ferdinand I, as he himself is a bisexual man. Rumours have been spread and discussed about the Tsar, especially with regards to him taking frequent holidays on Capri. Indeed, it is well known by many that the Tsar does have homosexual interests, and this has caused many scandals for the royal family. Fine. Also, the military is... Oh, yeah, Germany's is. I'm trying to think who, who would have the best commanders. Russia? Maybe? Oh, it's probably Japan, actually. Thinking about it. Japanese commanders are very good. French Republic, potentially. Britain, potentially. Yeah, I would think it's probably between Germany, uh, the UK... French Republic, Russia, Japan. I would think. Possibly Austria. No, no, it wouldn't be Austria. Maybe Germany. The Ottomans had some good ones too, actually. <laughs> Byzantium. Yeah, like I said, the Ottomans. Russia. No. He is a disappointment to everything in Russia, drunk lord. He is the man that Wrangel just does not trust. It's funny that you say about the military become complacent. I'd love to see them work the rework the doctrines to show how the war changed. That would be interesting. That would be very interesting. And I'd kind of like them to uh, overhaul the tech tree. Apparently, at some point, they did do a um, poll saying, do you want more focuses or do you want a better tech tree? And focuses were, like, way ahead. I forgot Albania has good generals. I've never played as Albania, so I cannot confirm nor deny that. Canada's good air land battle commanders also great naval leadership. Well, naval leadership obviously because the Royal Navy went to Canada. Um, I think a lot of the generals, the army generals, uh, fled to Canada too. Did they fix scripted peace treaties? I don't know what you mean by that. Wrangle with Wrangle. Uh, Russia with Wrangle, obviously. I cannot believe you have a tale of the gun much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, Wrangle's potential as a... Oh, not potential. Wrangle's ability as a general just goes completely without question. He's so good that he doesn't even, like, rank among the... the mere presence of the mortals that we are currently talking about. Uh, what did I just research? I researched a thing. What was the thing? Uh, wasn't guns. It was one of these. Well, I think we need to get improved machine tools. It is 37. I need more industrial stuff. Also, focus. Foc focus is what just finished. That's what it was. We got the new research slot. Duh. Okay, examine the budget. The collapse of the Berlin Stock Exchange has brought about a period of economic uncertainty within Bulgaria. This, of course, has negatively impacted the budget and, by extension, government spending. If we are to pull ourselves out of this financial rut, we must take a close look at the status of the budget and rebalance it.
Oh, we're referencing Skandenberg for Albania. Yeah, fair enough. Ah, American Civil War. Now, can I send any of you assistance? Who would that be? It would probably be the USA. Can I send you volunteers? I can send a volunteer. And I think I will. Question is whom? See, this is where I'm going. I really wish I trained you guys. Alright, get back to training. Does Portugal have a way of getting Brazil back into the Empire? I think they have war focuses? I think they might. Uh... I don't remember offhand. There does not seem like it from here. Must send a horsey. Yeah, I was certainly thinking of sending a uh, cavalry unit. Although that kind of depends on how strong the cavalry... They're eh, not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. What I might do is spend some of my military points. Do I really want to spend 20 points doing this? I mean, I can afford it. No, I don't think I do. I, w I really want the Mountaineers. I would send the Mountaineers if I had them. Portugal was a lot of fun to play, actually. I really enjoyed the Portugal game. Second American Civil War. To uneducated foreigners, it might seem like the crisis in the United States happened out of nowhere, but ed experts agree that it was a civil war years in the making. Alright, so we are positive in terms of political power once again. This 0 0.07 polit uh, party popularity thing is killing me though. Oh my gosh, it's frustrating. So that will permanently... No, replace... Yes, yeah, so that's a permanent minus 5% consumer goods factories. Well, it is technically... Hang on. Was that Japan declaring war on the US? Did I read that right? No, it was on... Okay, it was on Korea. I was like, did, did, did Japan just join the Pacific States? No, the Pacific States just declared war in the US. Okay, cool. Wait, the Kingdom of Canada, that's a new name for them. I don't think so. The King... Uh, actually, yeah, it is. Why has that happened? Because they went down the royal prerogatives in C7. So I think it's the Commonwealth if they go the Constitution Act, and then it's the Kingdom of Canada if they go this way. Uh, because basically the King seizes power. Well, he doesn't seize power. It's basically a, a thing going through Parliament saying, should the King have power or should the Constitution still hold power? And this way of saying, no, the King should be able to do decrees and things, at which point it becomes the Kingdom. I believe. I've, I've seen that before. I think I may even have done it before. KR Dev should add a way of influencing party popularity easier. It would be nice if there was like a decision or something related to that. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, so a bunch of our troops are now ready for duty. It's all of our infantry. Do we want to send one of the infantry guys over? Is Alaska part of the 
PSA. Yes. Very often they do flip to the PSA. When they go paternal authoritarian, they become... Uh, uh, ah, okay. Paternal autocratic. I see what you mean. When Napoleon invaded Portugal, the king kind of wanted to stay in Brazil and never come back. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Yeah, I thought we just finished the tech. I was like, come on. Come up. Uh, let's get concentrated industry. Get that going. How are we doing? Still three. Charlotte Holland. That's a name I recognize. Hello and welcome to the Maudlings. Quill 18 did a playthrough. We waited for as long as possible to go to Britain next North America. That's not a bad idea. In fact, I've seen Canada do, do that a couple of times, particularly when America is completely torn apart by the Civil War. Examining the budget. I uh, just read that one previously. Right, maintain military pensions. While it is true that the maintenance of military pensions has been straining our already stretched finances, we simply cannot slash pensions and leave our heroes to suffer. No, we must bear this burden, for it is our obligation to the veterans who helped to bring about the Golden Age to do so. Because what I'm hoping here is that giving the military veterans the thumbs up, we can get them to fight again. And because they're already kind of elite and trained, that should make our army better. Maybe. We'll see. Don't know for sure if that's going to happen, but we'll soon find out. Alongside our lack of involvement in the economy and the lack of support for our workers, it seems as though the extensive military pensions may be our undoing. It is clear that, following the examination of the budget, we must take steps to balance the budget, either by cutting military pensions or reorganising the system entirely. Whatever it may be, however, it is clear that we must take steps to remedy the situation and rid ourselves of the economic plague that has surrounded our nation. Also looks like New England staying with Canada. Uh, yeah. And again, they very often do that. And it actually looks like Canada's just absorbed them. Didn't give them their independence. Which pisses them off. So Canada's going to have some problems with that. And also they went anti-bilingual. So they're going to have problems with Quebec too. Because they didn't do that. Canada could actually have like a civil war or something here. Which I've never seen. I wonder if that's even possible. Serbia crowns King Alexander II since the end of the Austrian occupation in the 1920s. Serbia has officially been a kingdom. They never dared crown a king as they were forced to keep a low profile in light of the further Austrian aggression. Peter Bovac, the regent of Serbia for almost two decades and a known royalist, has now decided to restore the monarchy. Alexander II, the son of the royal, the former King Peter I, has accepted the crown and was today crowned as King of Serbia. This controversial move is likely to upset the Austrian and the Bulgarian governments. Yeah, I'm upset! Grrr. Love how the snow in New England respects the former USA-Canada border. Well, obviously. It's in Canada now. It's far too polite to encroach on um, the US. Okay, all training is done. Let's merge you guys back together. And let's think very seriously about how we are going to rescue the USA. Although, actually, if we helped the US... Oh, this is where I want mountaineers. I could get a couple of units of Mountaineers and then go and use them to attack the PSA, knock them out, and then the United States itself will be in a pretty strong position. In Canada, even the snow is polite. Yeah, exactly. New England got freed? Oh, so they did. Okay, so they're not going to have so many uh, issues. Um... I really do want to send you some volunteers. Send to the AUS. I'd rather the USA one. Basically, I want any of these two to win. I do not want them to win. That would be bad. Who is the USA most likely to back? Well, USA is usually entente aligned, though not as much as the Pacific states. Pacific states really are entente aligned. Uh, which is not necessarily against me. And I've already pissed Germany off, which kind of rules the AUS out. No, I think I want the US to win. Especially if 
Um, what's his face comes into power? Uh, MacArthur. Because MacArthur goes in, uh, authoritarian Democrat, which is what I am. Try to get one of my horsemen, send them. I think we're going to get a horseman, we'll send him. So we'll give you... Oh, I forgot how... This is definitely going to be a jaunty hat mission, isn't it? He's got a good attack. He's not as good as Nedev, though. Nedev is an excellent attacker. He's more of an artillery guy, though. Commando, trickster with a 2. Yeah, you're a 2-2-2 two, two, two rather than 2-1. Though you are better with logistics. Division recovery rate is actually really nasty. No, I think we want Stoichev. Plus, he's Jaunty Hat guy. Why would you not want to promote Jaunty Hat to do awesome things? And he has a free trait. Skirmisher. Camouflage expert could be useful. Uh, not paratroopers. So I think it's either going to be Skirmisher or Camouflage expert. I'm not sure I'm going to be struggling with anti-air, though. Enables ability probing attack. Um, divisions do not lose entrenchment bonus when attacking, but do not fully commit to the battle. That's not really your thing. That would be more the other dude who I passed over. Who wouldn't want someone like Jaunty Hat Guy to save you? Exactly! Uh, I think I'm going to go with... Camouflage Expert. Damage reduction against close air support. Air superiority bonus in combat minus 50%. Is that your air superiority because they can't find you? Or is that their air superiority? That certainly sounds like their air superiority. Probing attack is quite weak. That is the opposite to what people were telling me last time. I don't think you have enough to be spending on overseas wars. I have plenty! And I like to meddle. I'm not going to uh, invest in any upgrade though. And it's, I'm sending one division. One cavalry division at that. So yes. Um, send volunteers. Stoichev. Off you go. Volunteers accepted. Right, so we are doing the military pensions. We're still researching that. Uh, Liberation Day. On the 3rd of March, 1878, Bulgaria has been liberated and properly established as a state with the signing of the Treaty of St San Stefano. Supported and... Blah, blah, supported by the Honourable Peter, the Ottoman Empire was forced to give Bulgaria most of its territory. Later on, following the Treaty of Berlin in 1878, the Principality of Bulgaria, alongside Eastern Rumelia, was established by the powers of Europe. In 1908, we would go on to declare independence. Awesome. And uh, Poland is still here. Lithuania is still here, though they have not combined. They do have the potential to do that, though, if they go with the Lithuanian king. They've gone with the Habsburg traitors. Ugh. Mongolia took eight states, Tibet took one, Marklik was annexed, so the Great Khan is rising. That was actually a really quick war. Usually that war bogs on for a long time. That, that was quite impressive. Ah, oh, crap. Is my army going to appear in Washington? My one horseman. Although Washington and Baltimore are really difficult to take. They can be. But my one understrength cavalry unit is not really going to help over there. The Ottomans are expanding. Um, no, they're not. 
And besides, the Ottomans are my buddies. Remember, we were in the Central Powers together. The ones that we need to be aware of are Serbia, Romania, and Greece. Possibly Albania. Having just achieved independence from the United States, the Philippines face today perhaps one of the most serious challenges any new country could face. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Their attempt was quickly thwarted as army units intervened and drove the rebellious army out of the capital. And many key points, however, the army decided to seize power for themselves, with a cabinet of military commanders put into place to ensure the safety of the Philippines for the foreseeable future. It didn't go communist for once. Oh, another authoritarian Democrat. Awesome. Guys, it's okay. Let him be involved in the US Civil War. You know they'll be involved in everyone else's. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Washington. Damn it. I'm in Baltimore, technically. Alright, so let's head south here. I'm really not sure I'm going to help if I am at all. This might well have been a mistake. Why are you leaving, uh, what is that? Mountains! Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, they're moving in. I'm not going to have any time to entrench. Ah, uh, that's not good. Politics aren't allowed in chat. As long as you keep it nice, sure. I mean, that's my golden rule. I'm, I'm quite happy for you guys to talk politics and things. Just be nice. Maintain military pensions. Done. And here we go. End Black Monday. Thankfully, we have finally managed to end the economic plague known as Black Monday and have dug ourselves out of this rut. In addition, however, we have also managed to strengthen our economy, solidify the stability of our currency, and gain the trust of the people, bringing about an economic recovery. Also, why has the Spanish Civil War not happened? They have not taken any national focus. Or maybe they have and it just hasn't occurred. Because usually it's this Spanish Civil War, then the American. That's an early American Civil War, actually. That's a very early Civil War. AI exploits holes in the front lines a lot better now, which makes the American Civil War for the USA extremely hard. Uh, yes, I have never seen them do particularly well, although... Oh, you were cut off. Mm. Yeah, they, ju they just have such a massive boundary. The people react. As we have decided to maintain mil military pensions, it has endeared us to the supporters of the military and the veterans of the World Creek themselves. And while this is not... And while this is good for morale within the nation, the government support, that has not endeared us to the various peasants and factory workers who view this as more of sacrificing the common man for the military. Uh, war support increased, financial deficit, which means consumer goods factories, 10% war support increased by 5% for 125 days. Fine. I like the fact I'm getting political power from that.